Hey guys, this is Shadows129 here, ready to give you another great match today. This is my first upload ever, so please bear with me if I do make a mistake or anything. Please comment below after this battle if you want to help me make improvements and stuff. I would really appreciate it. Now, let's get into the match today. I have a standard over your match today with a good friend of mine who wants to be called the name L. And looking at his team here and the team preview, his team is extremely bulky. So that the off the speed here, which I think is gonna probably gonna be a suicide lead. Now, I really don't have a stealth rocker. So I'm just gonna go into my Galvantula here, counter that the off the speed, and try to take that thing as fast as possible before he can switch out or even try to set more entry hazards and stuff if it does. Now he knows to go into his the off the speed here as I go into my Galvantula. Now I'm gonna go for the bug buzz of course, trying to hit that thing as much as possible. And he goes as he goes for the stealth rocks. Go for the bug buzz and oh man he has that focus sash. Uh, of course it was pretty obvious, but still pretty bad. He goes for the fire punch here and look at this. I don't get killed. Yeah. That Galvantula knocks that the off speed right out and I live with four HP. Four great HP. It allows me to get a thunder off before I die and that does a hefty power chunk to Scizor and get the power hack which you will see does not matter. He goes with a sword stance here as I go into my reuniclus and look at this bullet punch. This bullet punch, wow, compared to max defense the offers, that does, for max defense reuniclus, I'm sorry, that does a lot of damage. And I luckily I took that thing out with a psychic as he goes in Dragonite. Now, I look into my team here, and I see, oh shoot, I don't have anything to tell Outrage. I forgot about Outrage. So, I really had to sacrifice my Renuclus here. I do the Stone Edge with my Terrakion as he takes another Pokemon out. Should not really win to Outrage, should not really win out into Terrakion, looking bad at it, but what can you do? Um, I'm not gonna think the 3 fourth HP though, which is good, so I can revenge kill with my Crocodile. Um, Scarf Crunch here, take that Dragonite out of there. That thing is probably choice banded. Did not want that thing blowing through my team, especially because I don't have entry hazards. Now, uh, of course, I'm locking the Crunch so he doesn't conquer that. I gotta switch out. Go to my Gyarados, get the Intimidate off, see what he's gonna do, and he goes for the bulk up. Now, look in here, I'm just gonna go for the substitute next turn, see what he's gonna do. Hopefully, another bulk up so I can probably you know, hit that thing with a waterfall or something, but he goes with payback, knocks out my sub, and I can't really stay in here anymore because if uh, if he just keeps going with a payback, that Conqueror is going to outstall me. I go to Venusaur, this thing is the bulkiest thing on my team, and I just, he just goes with another payback, and that doesn't do a lot. Goes to the Nucleus, guys, I miss my sleep powder, I'm just going to go for it again because that Nucleus is pretty bad to my Venusaur considering for the Psychic or the Psy Shock. But that Venusaur is just a good grief. Venusaur, I switch out and I go into Crocodile here. Now I predict his Conqueror switch so I go for the Earthquake but I over predict. Still does a good chunk to that Venusaur but would have been cool if uh, I got the Stab Crunch off. Hope would have killed probably. Um, I go for the Earthquake again of course he goes into Rotom Wash gets to levitate off, nothing happens. Uh, he goes with the full switch as I switch in my Venusaur in good play, you get the switch in initiative, but again that Venusaur is a boss and does not take a lot from any of his attacks. Goes back into the sleeping Venusaur here as I go for a sub, I just want to set up a little on him in case he switches out so I can probably solve the next thing that he has on his team. Go with the hidden power fire actually, this is my son Venusaur. Um, I brought this thing in here just because it, this thing is really good. Um, even if without the sun, it still does work, as you see here. Um, takes out the Reunuclus next turn, and this is great because that Reunuclus can't set up on me, and that thing is a bulky mofo. Now he goes into back into his conqueror here, 
and I put that thing to sleep. I do not want that thing to set bulk up or anything because I really don't want that thing to get really bulky. Um, it goes for leash here and I miss. But I just want to go for leash again because I want to stall the conquer there out before it's too late. Go for leash seed as he wakes up actually. He goes for the bulk up, which is not good because he's already at plus one defense. I can't hit this thing very hard without him hitting me back. Now, what I proceed to do here is just to put that thing back to sleep. I really don't want that conquer there around. Um, he's not gonna switch. So um, I really don't want that combo they're setting up on me. I switch out here, I go into my Gyarados, try to set up on that thing, hoping that that thing would stay asleep as long as possible. Now, instead of going with a substitute, I really don't want to do it because of my HP is so low, I really want to really switch back in. And this is a combo there, so I really don't expect to uh, do too much damage to me. So I go over to the Dragon Dance here, as he does wake up, which is really bad. He goes with Payback, and that's a clean two hit KO on my Gyarados, even with the Leash Seed. So, I'm just gonna leave my Gyarados in here to die. There's really no point considering that he does have the Stealth Rocks up. I go over the Waterfall, and this does a pretty good chunk to that Congo there. Two hit KO, but of course he kills me with that Payback, which is just fine since I really just left that and um, Gyarados in to die. I go back into Kruka's Owl here, and he goes for the Mock Punch, and look at this, look at this. I live with 56 HP, which is perfect, but I waste it, and I go for the Stone Edge, thinking that it would be normal, but I forgot that Rock is resisted by fighting. So, looking at that, it was bad. Um, He goes for the Mock Punch again, of course trying to take out my Kruka's Owl, but I switch into my Venusaur, get that resistance off, and that does nothing. That does nothing to my Venusaur. And, of course, I set up the sub here. See what I'm going to do. And he goes with the payback to knock out my sub. Pretty good. Doesn't want me to set up. And I didn't really go for the um, sleep powder here. Because there's really no point. Especially because he's almost about to die anyway. And that would just leave him a sleep powder. Which means I can't sleep anything else. I go over the impact fire. Just knock that conclusion out. Finally, that big bulky thing is out of there. He goes into Rotom Wash, which I think is his last Pokemon. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it goes with Hydro Pump, which, oh, I make the biggest misplay here. I go into Crocodile, and um, I was checking the stats, but I accidentally clicked the switch. Um, I should have stayed in with Venusaur, of course, to resist the Hydro Pump, and of course, uh, my Venusaur is very, very specially defensive. Now, I do lose my Crocodile accidentally here, but I do get that Rotom asleep and get the Leech Seed thing, and I really don't have anything else to do, because this is down to one-on-one, -on -one. and of course, his Rotom is probably going to die to my Venusaur, but depending on hacks, I probably might be able to win this. Now, if I miss my Sleep Powders, and he hits his Hydro Pump, of course he will win, because that Hydro Pump is doing way too much. Way, way, way too much. And I go over to Sleep Powder and I miss! Wow, I miss. That is bad stuff. But luckily, that Leaf Seed and the Left. Wow. But luckily, though, the Leaf Seed and the Leftovers do recover me from that, um, that Hydro Pump here. And I go over to Sleep Powder and he misses the Hydro Pump, which didn't really matter, as you will see here. And uh, sorry I didn't speed this up. Ken Page is kind of having some laggy problems. Um, I go over the substitute here, just in case he does wake up and go over the Hydro Pump. And um, I just proceed to stall this thing out. He's down to about one third HP, looking at his HP here. Go to keep holding the sleep powder in case he wakes up. Hey, I know Hidden Power Fire is not going to do that much. So why not just go over the sleep powder? He stayed asleep, however. And I just keep going over the sleep powder. If that thing wakes up, it's all right, but I can get that thing right back to sleep. Now he does wake up here. He goes with Hydro Pump, and he hits, breaks my sub. Doesn't really matter though, because I just go for another sleep out. I just go with Hidden Power Fire here, sorry. And I try to take that thing out, but wow. Uh, <laughs> that is one bad Hidden Power Fire. Luckily though, at least he takes them out, and that is the game. So if you like this video, please leave your like in 
below and um please comment rate subscribe um thank you for watching this match today and i'll see you guys later